I'm going to use um, the piecewise function to define a parametric curve which is actually a square. So here's my I'm going to make function type parametric and I'm going to start to go from 0 to 4. So each one um, unit of parametric space is going to one side of the square. Um, I will accept the default definition just so that I get the um, on-screen uh, description of the parametric curve that I can use to edit. So I want both the x-coordinate to be a par uh, to be a piecewise function of t and the y-coordinate to be a piecewise function of t. So here put piecewise and we need four different segments for each of them. So there's the x coordinate defined as a as a um piecewise function and here I will make a piecewise function for the y coordinate and again with four independent pieces. So let's assume that then the first side the x coordinate is going to be zero. So we're going to keep the x at coordinate 0 and y coordinate will vary between 0 and 1. I'm going to make this a square between 0 and 1 both in x and y direction. So the x coordinate is going to be 0 from 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to t rather less than 1. The x coordinate is going to be 0 in those intervals. Um, that Now between 1 and 2 I want the uh, x coordinate to climb from 0 to 1, so we'll make it t minus 1. So at 1 it's going to be 0 and at 2 it's going to be 1. 1 less than or equal to t, less than 2. So now between 2 and 3 I just want it to stay at 1. 2 less than or equal to t, less than 3. And then between 3 and 4, I want, it, I want it to come down back from 1 to 0. So I'm going to make that 4 minus t. From 3. That's that 4. Okay, so that's my x and my y. Well, while x is 0 here in the first segment, y is going to have to climb. Um, let's have it climb from 0 to 1. So we're going to just make that t for 0 less than or equal to t less than 1. And then once we're at 1, we'll stay there for a leg. So it's going to be 1 for 1 less than or equal to t less than 2. Now we'll come back down, 3 minus t. for 2 less than or equal to t less than 3 and finally 0 for the last leg. Okay. And sure enough uh, we see we have a square and if we stick a point on that that curve with parametric location um, t. As we vary t between 0 and 4, you see it starts out down there at t equals 0. As t grows, um, the x stays 0 but the y climbs. Then the, x t the y stays at 1 but the x climbs and so forth.